My primary goal is not really to fix anything. My primary goal is to allow some kind of play in cities. Now you could say that we're fixing the, the lack of play, but really play is an, an, an innate part of every human. It's through play that we learn to speak, it's how we interact with other humans, and more importantly, it's how we create new things. I'm an artist, I make public art, I make art really primarily for urban spaces. I got very little desire to make art in those really weird wide bo white boxes that you, that you call galleries and museums. Play has been something that's been part of my life all the way through, but urban space is my, is my canvas for, for playing and I think really the reason there is that we've got so many human beings going about their business, travelling through these spaces really without interacting in any way with, their, with themselves or the environment. I think the opportunity to intervene there and allow some kind of expression, self-expression is so enticing for me. We've been commissioned to do a couple of projects at the moment, three in fact. One of them is for British Telecom. They make the big iconic red telephone boxes that you see all around the UK. They've given us one of these and in fact they've given 20 artists 20 phone boxes and they've asked each one of us to convert it into something special, magic. What we're doing is something that's similar to a project we did recently called the Clockwork Forest, which is where trees, giant oak trees, have sprouted huge clockwork keys which just beg you to turn them. And we're doing something similar with the phone box. The first installation that we made, you know as a child you pick up a stick and run it along railings and get that lovely ch -ch -ch sound? We took a set of railings and we tuned them. So when you ran a stick along it, it played the girl from Ipanema. It was a really satisfying piece. For us, it was a monument of uh, public artwork, but that also prevented you from getting in a park or you could you know, chain your bike to it. So a lot of the things we do are not huge, great big projects. They're small twists with what currently already exists in a public space. I mean, what is public art? Public art is usually bronze statues, right? It's a, it's a bronze guy on a horse, you know? Uh, or maybe if you're lucky, you get like a highly polished rock, maybe, you know? One of those nice, like, sometimes they have a hole through the middle. And it's always completely blown my mind why they call it public. And so Greywell's work, really nine times out of ten, is about making work where the human being primarily is in the centre of the work. Bins and Benches is one of my favourite projects. This is from Cambridge, another permanent work. Six bins and five benches in a town square. Very ordinary, we thought it would be interesting to flip it round. Rather than them being in our town square, we'd be in theirs. So in this one, you could whistle to them and they would come over to you. On a Tuesday, the bins would line themselves up in a nice little line so the bin man could come along and empty them. To be honest, being a bin is a bit of a shit life. I have to be saying, I have to be true. I mean, you spend all day long having rubbish dumped in your head and then someone comes along and rips your insides out. It's not a nice place to live, really. Now, there's a lot of our stuff really is about reappropriating what's already there. Our stuff, in public space, you have a billionth of a second to catch people. These people aren't going there to, to consume art. They're going there to buy a can of beans or, or meet their mum or go to the supermarket. So our projects really have to engage you quickly or you have to be able to avoid them altogether. And so a lot of our installations are about trying to find that balance in between them. Play, it turns out, isn't just for the fun that it elicits in ourselves. Play is a uniquely creative act. If I set up a situation which allows people to play, they actually find themselves creating and constructing things that they would otherwise never really get to. I think putting that in a city is a win-win situation. Life is, is, is all about getting from A to B as fast as possible. With these kind of installations, I hope that the journey itself is a bit of a joy. The ability of small interventions in cities to be able to make big differences in people's lives, usually allowing some kind of play or creativity.